If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got three new Ultimate Legends. Now, guys, I know Ultimate Legends isn't always the most hyped day of the week, but, but specifically today, we have some pretty nice Ultimate Legend, guys. We have one Ultimate Legend specifically that we've been waiting for since Christmas, which, guys, it's kind of absurd. I understand that it's already, uh, almost july and we finally got one of the best ultimate legends we've been wanting all year because like in reality we should get that during a time when everyone's everyone's playing like you know mid-march mid-april maybe the latest early may but guys we're almost in july and we're finally getting a card that we've waited oh so long for and that is sean taylor as you guys probably see by the title sean taylor guys literally it's been so long since we gotten a card like that like a free save like and we have brian dawkins but i told you guys that, that new sean taylor would blow away the brian dawkins we're gonna go we're obviously gonna go compare that because I do want to see in what aspects that Sean Taylor does beat him by. But coming here, I'm going to power him up because I do believe I have Night Train Lane with the power pass. I'm going to take that off because I do want to get this Sean Taylor and see what his stats look like powered up. So let's get his power pass off of him. And let's go on over to my Sean Taylor that I've had for so long. I mean, there's a good chance the training costs a lot on him. Guys, this card has been with me since Christmas. I literally said he was endgame. And I stuck by that. There we go, 13,000. And then now we have the final Sean Taylor card right here, which I did just put, oh, my 99 power pass isn't on him. One second. All right, guys, so before we get into the rest of the video and go over everything, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, but boys, come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And if you haven't already, make sure to, if you guys are trying to pick up Sean Taylor or any of these Ultimate Legends, make sure to head over to my sponsor, MMO EXP. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off. And guys, they're also giving away an extra 10% coins on top of every order that you do purchase. So that should kill the reduction of anything as it, as it you know currently is. But guys, I definitely recommend you go check them out. Cheapest way to pick up some of these cards right now. Do not buy packs. That's all I got to say. Do not buy packs. All right, so let's check them out. Let's see the Sean Taylor in full right here so we got powered up sean taylor 99 speed 99 excel 96 tackle 97 play rec 98 pursuit 90 89 man 99 zone 99 hit power perfect card guys he's tall maxed out maxed out speed and excel maxed out of power maxed out zone and then on my team we'll have maxed out play rec and we'll have slightly above 90 man and we'll have maxed out pursuit more than like this card is absolutely phenomenal you can't say anything more about it. I do want to check him out in the auction block. We're going to see the price. I do want to compare him to Brian Dawkins. A lot of you guys, when he came out, was saying that just get Brian Dawkins. He's the same as Sean Taylor. I personally thought that Brian Dawkins would be a, a downgrade action on Sean Taylor when he came out. Obviously, we're much later in the year now. Well, not much, much later, but we are a decent amount later into the year. So, again, you can discount the fact that, obviously, Brian Dawkins should be worse. But we got to check it out. So, let's see. So, we got... Let's see. So I see some of the new guys up. So we will get back to this. So let's go to Joe Thomas first. Limited time Joe Thomas is on the block. One of the new legends. Joe, Joe Thomas, I said. Joe Montana. Now, Joe Montana is one of the mutt favorite legends of every time. Now, as of recently, since we've introduced skate parts and all this other stuff, Joe Montana has not been much as a pick as he used to be. And for all you guys who played Madden 13, if you remember, he had all his base legend cards. And those cards were always super fun to play with. He's always super accurate, but this year they really kill. Oh my god, his stats suck again. 79 speed. Again, he's supposed to be like a, a West Coast and kind of quarterback, so that's completely fine. You know, you don't got to care about the speed there. Throw power, 93 throw power. Why the hell does a 99 overall quarterback have a 93 throw power in the end of June? Even with all the abilities you can and cams and everything you can put on him, probably gets to a 97 max, which again, I shouldn't have to do so much to get it up there. His accuracy is 98, 98, 97, which will be all. And that's, again, that might not even be max either, depending on what you put on him. Actually, no, it'll, it'll be max. His throw on the run, whatever. His throw on the pressure. Okay, so his passing is all going to be max across the board, but his throw power is so low. Now, again, I guess if you put go deep on him and you put John Madden passing, you're going to get it to about a 97, 98, which I guess is good enough, but you shouldn't, at this point in the year, you shouldn't have to be having to work to get him up. Joe Montana is decent, 1.3 million. I think he'll probably end up capping around, I'd have to say probably like 200k maybe not even yeah well he's a little times maybe 200k for now but it'll probably end up being like 150 200k well he's ltd again so whatever the ltd lowest price is 250 he'll probably stay around there and honestly i don't i don't see him not staying above that price for too long and then we do have a franco harris i believe so let's go see if that is up and that's not even an ltd so kind of funny that joe montana was up so fast at ltd let's see if there's any sean taylor's up I do want to compare him to Brian Dawkins. So there's no Sean Taylor's up yet, but let's compare him to Brian Dawkins. Now, I believe Brian Dawkins, yep, 97, there we go. So yeah, he's going to be a lot better, but I did tell you guys to wait for the Sean Taylor, although it was a while, so I see if you guys didn't. 
So we compare them. Look at the difference in speed. 98 versus 93. I told you there'd be a crazy speed difference. 98 versus 91 excel. 94 tackle. Play rec's actually the same. Pursuit's way better. Man coverage is way better. Zone is way better. And hit power is way better. So, in my opinion, if you sell Brian Dawkins, definitely make this upgrade. There's a huge... And, he's big, and he has better height. And he more than likely has better block shed as well. Which block shed is super important if you have a... You know, when your safe have to play the run game. So let's see. Oh, he's good juke too. Block shedding. 83 block shedding. That's really, really good. Sean Taylor card is really, really nice. I really like it. I just, hope, I just wish they didn't take so long to give us this card. It literally took... Let's see. Mid-December to mid-January, mid-February, mid-March, mid-April, mid-May, mid-June. Six months. Half a year. It took almost half a year to get Sean Taylor. You know, wow. Guys, that's crazy. It just all hit me that I've been playing Madden since, you know, August or whatever. It's almost been a year, but like since December when I, I upgraded a card on my team and six months later, we're still here. That's pretty crazy to just think about, but wow. Yep. That's, that's crazy. Anyways, back to this. Let's go see. So there's no Sean Taylor's up on the block yet, but you guys saw Sean Taylor. I do want to show you guys his base stats though at some point. Okay, Franco Harris is up, not an overall Franco Harris. Always an interesting card. I never really feel like I can use it, but it always uses I always feel like it has a use, but I never actually get it or use it. Six foot two, 93 speed. The speed's good. Again, I'd rather Christian Okoye. 89 strength, 98 awareness, 99 carrying, 83 catching, 79 run block, 87 lead block, 89 pack block. So, the thing with Franco Harris is that his run block isn't good enough for me. Lead blocking is good, but lead blocking isn't what it used to be. See, it's weird. In older Maddens, when you had a guy lead blocking and they had like a high lead block, it was almost a pancake like every other lead block. And this year, you really don't see pancakes like you used to. So I don't really see the thing with that. And impact blocking too. If you had a good impact and lead block, you literally were gunning right for him and pancaking him. I don't really see it that often. So run blocking on the other hand, that's just kind of holding a run block. I think that's more important, especially when your fullback's leading the way for you. I wish that was a bit higher. The catching, like everything's just decent. He's decently fast, decent catching, decent run block. Now, if you can get him for cheap and you want, to, you need a fullback, something that could be useful. Fullback dive is probably really good with him. Now, I don't believe. Where is uh? Do we have a Christian Okoye? No, right. I don't want to sound dumb, but I'm pretty sure we're still waiting on that. Last Christian Okoye we had was. He was an LTD. I know that. Right. I don't know. It's been a while, guys. I would prefer a 99 overall Christian Okoye. We have a Redux, a Redux Okoye. That's what it is. Now, we was a Redux for what was it? I don't remember exactly what it was for. So let's go check out these series Redux. There we go. Christian Okoye. Okay, yeah, okay, he was an Ultimate Legend, that's what I thought. So 98 overall. Yeah, so when it comes to Christian Okoye, I think he's a much better option. Same speed, just about the same carrying, and he has way, way better blocking, like plus 10 pack block, plus 10 lead, plus 7 lead block and plus 11 run block. I think Krishna Koi is a much better value. And he's 360, he's 36. That's kind of expensive for his overall. But guys, if you want a fullback, go big or go home. Why, why go Franco when you, I'm not exact because I think he's better. So in my opinion, guys, stick to Krishna Koi before you go ahead and try to get uh, Franco Harris. I think it's just a much better option. Now, Sean Taylor is up. Base stats, amazing. Obviously, power of stats a little bit better, but he's gonna get max out zone, max out speed, max out excel, max out hit power. Can't go wrong with that, guys. I honestly think Sean Taylor's probably one of the best cards in the game right now. Specifically just off of his attributes alone. I really like him. And if you guys use your safety, you're going to be a monster. You're going to be able to ball hawk all over the field, have a great reach, and be able to lay the boom if someone comes running by you. I really like him. Guys, better for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Ultimate Legend video. I don't know how much longer they will be doing Ultimate Legends for. I have to imagine they will be stopping soon. Considering they already did Rick Premieres now, like I did the video yesterday or two days ago, I do hope that those promos I talked about come to life, come true. Because if they do, that means you have more things to talk about, more, more fun to have in this game. I don't know what they're going to be doing with that. I hope they do it. Obviously, I'm getting a little bit less involved with Madden 20 in terms of online play. Obviously, I play a lot of franchise. But as far as this, I want a big promo to give me some players to actually have some fun with. I would love a blockbuster promo. I feel like that'd be so fun to make a whole blockbuster team. But we have to wait and see. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're into the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on the bell, boys. Come join the fam, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below, let me know what you guys think of these new Ultimate Legends, now if I had to do my weekly rankings, guys, coming in number 3, Joe Montana, coming in number 2, Franco Harris, coming in number 1, Sean Taylor, you guys better for the video, I'm out, see you guys later, peace.